The center of his body stays looking at his hands. Not only connection, but the width. The arms want to get a little narrow. They want to pin behind you, and your chest wants to go in the opposite direction. Then you have to throw at the club to catch up. Grab the club, boom, and then boom, right there. When he showed up this week, his arms would pin behind him. Okay, we talked about how his shoulder would actually start going towards the target and the hands would pin behind him at the top of the swing, right? As opposed to this shoulder pushing the hands down the line of the feet, setting the club. And what we're working on is making sure from this position here that his body, the center of his body, stays looking at his hands. And more importantly, he keeps that not only connection, but the width. That can then be turned to the top and actually gets his hands from being very low and pinned behind him to more propped up in this position. Right there. So this video is gonna be great for so many because a lot of golfers use their arms in excess of their body's turn. So the big thing about that is when that happens is the arms pin behind the chest and it makes a whole game of catch up on the way down. So taking what Jack's doing right now, understanding the fixed points that your body should be turning around to make a better, more efficient turn. And then understanding the simple feels that we come up with. One below the belt, pushing away on the handle to create the L. One above the belt, just maintain the distance between the center of the body and the hands at the top of the swing, right? Mm -hmm. And if we can do those two things, um, we're gonna be in, in business. Now, the specifics of that, go ahead and set up again. For him, connection comes from pushing the right arm, his lead arm away, mm -hmm. and keeping this elbow pinched in. Yeah. If he does that right here, that's what keeps that distance out there. Because we talked about how this elbow for him was breaking down and causing a decrease of the, 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 the connection and the width in our Yeah, so width back. the whole way back. Yeah. It's like you're pushing the handle down here and then you're pushing it away up here exactly, towards the right palm here. trees back there. Yeah. Kev, take a look at the palm trees back there. Beautiful palm trees above the, above the yeah. Beautiful. So for, for him, he's here to put that in perspective and he's trying to push his hands up there with his turn. Set. All right. So we threw a lot at the viewer. <laughs> Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Yeah. Here we go. We're going straight down the line of the feet to the set position. Right there, set position. And you're going to stay centered, and you're just going to make a nice big turn to the top. And we're just, all we're working on is that right there. Kev, come back here. This is a great position right here for my man. See how his arms, you can see the triangle right there. That was non-existence earlier in the week. Non-existent. It was down here and real pinned behind Inside. him. Inside. No, so, no. Yeah. Yeah. Problem area is not underneath the belt for him. Mm -hmm. It's what happens above the belt. He gets the set, and then he'll collapse it. So what we're working on now, get the set, shoulder and hands move together to the top, and then just transition from yeah, there. Yeah, just turn my shoulder, right. You got it, buddy. Wide is not wide out here. Wide just down the line away from you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy, just there turn. you go. Yeah. The one thing I, I'm hard on this guy about when he does his drills, I don't like him looking back here. Oh, yeah. Because when he looks back here, he drifts, and it also, not only that, he changes the feeling of what it's like when he's actually gonna be looking down at the golf ball. So I want him to really keep his vision down here right at, the at the ball. ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Don't ever let anybody tell you to get your hands high and not leave with a full understanding of exactly how to go about doing it. Your body is turning them up there. There's no movement of the arms and hands isolated from the body. I hear that all the time. Get your hands high, get your hands high. No, you turn your hands to the top and that's what gets them high if your arms are in the right position. You maintain connection and width. You tell somebody high hands, what are they gonna do? Just Pick their it. hands straight up and yeah. lift it even more away from the body. That's what people don't understand, I think, a lot of times. You know, when you watch golf videos, you see people try to work on crazy shallowing moves. <laughs> that's a manipulation. You see people try to work on high hands and they lift it to the top. That's a massive manipulation. When you make your real swing, the arms want to get a little narrow, they want to pin behind you, and your chest wants to go in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Then you have to throw the club to catch up. Yeah. Today, righty version. We're setting the club, creating the L, and we're moving it to the top with the same exact width and connection that we have. And now watch, if that elbow doesn't pin behind me with the chest going this way, that caused the low hands, Watch what happens now when I get that set position turned to the top. Boom. There's the hands up there higher. There's the elbow in a position that actually yeah, props the like hands that. up the right way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, when your elbow's like this, look at my hands. Now watch. Yeah. Just getting the elbow in the right spot and being connected, that's what gets the hands up in the right position. That's where higher hands come from. Connected to the body's turn. Arm structure being correct. Give me the full L. Boom. All the way up. Good, 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 good. We're setting the hips. We're getting the grip. Hip and grip, right? Mm -hmm. From there, all right. Pushing away, getting the elbow in the right spot as we talked about, right? So all it is is, you know, look at down the line of my feet, guys. The hands just go right down the line. Right down the line. And the club gets right into that set position. And then just up to the top. Mm -hmm. And for you, it's just making sure the shoulder and the hands stop together at the top of the swing. So watch. Set, there, and then through. Mm, right. Okay? Yeah. Hands straight down the line. There you go. Up there, and go. That was the best one by far. Yeah, that was good. So from the face-on view, what we're looking for is we're looking for him to have this big chest turn with his arms and hands directly out in front of that. So almost perpendicular lines, right? Mm -hmm. my, my righty rendition's a little bit better. Here we go, ready? <laughs> But you can see, full chest turn, arms and hands directly out in front of me. And then watch as I turn. I'm just maintaining that. And it's just a little bit more turn, but my arms and hands, because of the distance they stay away from my body, get up into the position they need to be in. Elbow, okay? right. Just bump that hip. I love doing this one. Okay, ready? So watch this. I stick my elbow, go ahead, stick my elbow right into his elbow. I grab the club. I put pressure into it. So what it does, it pins his elbow in the right spot, sets the club. I can keep turning him to the top, and it kept his elbow pointed down to the ball the whole time. Mm. Kev, come back here so I can show the viewer that. So I go right into his elbow with mine, grab the club, boom, and then boom, right there. And there he is, and that keeps it nice and pinched, and that's the right spot right there mm -hmm. for him. Boom, yep. Let's see it, bud. All right, let's get A Couple it. more drills, perfect drills right here. Sure. Don't have those hands go out, though. Keep the hands Rip in tight. Hip. Okay. Right down. There you go. There. Yes. Yes. Up that hip. Oh. Y position, there. All right, so we go no drill? No drill. Yes, All sir. right, buddy, let's see it. Just do it correctly. Here we go, grip and hip, and then just get it to that position. Good, it was better, it was better. I would still tell you at the top of the swing, yep. just do a little better job trying to make sure that, you know, to me, I look at this move here. When I watch him, I wanna make sure his shoulder and his hands stop together. What I see is sometimes his shoulder will start to make a move already trying to compress the golf ball and the okay. hands will start going back like Ooh. that. That move right there. Maybe just a little pause. Right here. You know what I mean? Where it's like you're already, it's, it's going down, this is, goes back versus back and then through, okay? A little bit of pause might help you a lot. Dude, yeah. just get it right there and then go. That is fantastic right there. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take a swing where you just do, just do the rehearsal yep. and then hit it. Right, yeah. Give me the rehearsal again. Up and then go. Looking at the ball. Boom. Go to the exact same spot and then hit it. <laughs> yes, dude. Way better, Way better right there. Yeah. That was your best swing of the day. That was good. And you know what's funny? The effortless power on that, Kev. Do you see that? That ball shot off the face, really got it did. good distance without you even going after it, by mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. But hey, the way that we just did that is the way that you have to do that. Mm -hmm. If you can do it in a rehearsal, you absolutely can do it over the golf ball. And this is a huge thing for most, most students. They get to the point to where they rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it. They see themselves do it, and then it frustrates them when they look at themselves in a video and they're not. Mm -hmm. The most important thing when you do that is understanding that it's your mind getting back to the golf ball and the desire to hit the golf shot well. Yeah. That then shuts off the ability to make that move. So you have, to, you have to process it in a way that allows you to make, make the swing be the, pro, make the feeling be the priority. I mean, when I did those drills earlier, I, I, I stopped and then turned. I had no thought of ball. It was just all about, well, I'm getting here and I just want to make sure I don't collapse this at all and just turn, right? Mm -hmm, right. And that was my priority. So right. right now, do the exact same thing. Get that set position back there, feel that big turn, do that one feel right before you pull the trigger. Okay. Head looking at the golf ball to make it realistic. Boom. There we go, buddy. Right up to that position and then go. 
by far and away his best back swings of the day, though. Yeah. You know? Really? And, and let's go after it now, okay? Okay. You can do it. All right. Wow. 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 Dude. That's good. These. And the ball is going straight. Let's and go. you're compressing it, hitting it farther. And the funny thing about it is it looks like you're trying less. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> you're, going. To, you're right. You're not doing yeah, all the stuff to right. impact. You're just, you're not trying to hit it hard. Mm -hmm. You're just putting it in a position and you're just letting it go. Mm -hmm. Bow and arrow. You pull it back to maximum tension and it goes. It goes. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you know, what, what else can we use there? Rubber band back and forth. <laughs> right. you, you can do, there's a lot of analogies you could use there, but yeah. the reality is, you know, you're winding the toy up and it just unwinds. There's, there's a, no switch that says unwind. Mm -hmm. It just, it's true. you know, you have to hit the gas hard. So that's what I want you to pay attention when you watch this guy swing now. Watch the ease at which he's swinging. He's swinging very smooth. I mean, he's still going after it, but it's not excess force right. or any hard hit from the top of his swing that would get his swing out of positions. Grip and so here hip. Here we go, can we get the grip and hip? Grip and hip. And Do then a great just... job with the rehearsal. And just go right back to the rehearsal and hit it. Yep. Perfect. Right up to the same spot, feel the rehearsal, Yep. hit the gas. Atta boy. Atta boy. That'll be easy on the eyes on the shot tracer yeah, right there. It's pretty straight. Yeah. Pretty straight if you like <laughs> one inch of movement. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, put that one up there for me, Kev. Put the pretty straight one up there so the viewer can see what he refers to as pretty <laughs> straight. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, -step, easy to understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.